Hey, it's Paul, the friendly viewer. Now recently, there was a question in the comments of one of my videos asking why doesn't anyone take a look at Thinking Putty when they're comparing the different fidget toys? Well, that spurred me on to get some Thinking Putty for myself, and we're gonna take a look at it today. Before we begin, check out the description below for any updates since I post the video, and also for any links that I talk about, such as a link to the Thinking Putty so you can get some for yourself. Now, there's a lot of different Thinking Putties out there, and I chose Crazy Aaron's Magnetic Thinking Putty and Tidal Wave, so let's check it out here. The Thinking Putty comes in a nice can that can be used for storing the putty. Inside the can, you'll find a magnet and the putty. There are a few options, and I went with the Tidal Wave. It's called Tidal Wave because it's supposed to mimic the effect of a giant swell in the ocean. It has a dark blue and purple look, and it sparkles. The putty itself has a nice consistency. You can roll it around and make shapes out of it. It reacts like a non-Newtonian fluid. If you move it and stretch it out slowly, it'll be very pliable and almost like a slow fluid. If you stretch it out really quickly, it will resist the movement and rip. This also means that if you drop it, it'll act like a bouncy ball. And if you hit it really, really hard, it will even crack, break, or shatter. This putty is also filled with little pieces of metal to make it react to magnets. You can use the included magnet to play with the putty. It will follow the magnet around if you stretch out a little piece and move the magnet close to it. The putty will slowly engulf the magnet over time if you sit it on it. It makes for pretty cool time-lapse videos. The magnet is fairly strong and just fine by itself, but I had some stronger neodymium magnets laying around and decided to play with those as well. Here are a few words of warning. You can get little pieces of metal to come out of it whenever you rip it apart or whenever you get it stuck to a magnet. Sometimes those metal pieces will get left behind. It would be really bad if those little metal pieces got in your eyes. Also, the putty can get stuck in your hair or stuck in other things such as maybe the carpet or your furniture. So you need to be very careful if you let little kids play with it. This stuff is a lot of fun, but as far as using it as a fidget toy, the magnetic version, I would only suggest it for older kids or adults where they can put it on a desk and play with it occasionally, but because of the little metal pieces, I would suggest it for little kids. There's normal thinking putty that you can get, and you can even get them in smaller sizes, and I suggest that for little kids, but again, make sure that they don't get it stuck in somewhere like their hair or they don't eat it or something like that. So still be cautious. I think it's an all right option and we'll take a look at it and compare it in some other videos along with some other fidget toys and see how it stacks up. So this has been Paul, the friendly viewer with Crazy Aaron's Magnetic Thinking Putty. Thank you for watching.